The head of NASA is back on Capitol Hill today testifying in front of lawmakers about the agency's future missions and programs. One of those programs is aiming to get Americans back on the moon by 2024. As New 6's James Barbero reports, NASA is asking for more money so those big goals can be reached. NASA has had a history of seeing programs get developed and then canceled. Of concern and now, Administrator Jim Bridenstine tells U.S. Senators is NASA's goal to get back to the moon by 2024. Bridenstine says NASA needs an immediate $3 billion for its lunar lander. The human landing system only got 20% of that money in a House spending bill passed this summer. The sooner we get the appropriations, the higher the probability of success. And even if the federal government does give the Artemis program full funding right now, NASA will have to lobby again for all the money at once every year until the goal is reached. Space has generally always been a very bipartisan effort that's encouraging and needed now more so than ever. Space Florida says that's considering this year's unprecedented challenges. In addition to being election year, we've also been smacked in the teeth by the virus. And the virus seems to have set every schedule and budget back. But Ketchum says a growing commercial market in space will help NASA's plans become cheaper and happen faster. Former Florida Governor, uh, Senator Rick Scott. I became governor back in 2010, and, you know, the space industry was in pretty bad shape then. I just want to thank NASA for their commitment to using the private sector to do things. NASA says it needs the human lander and the SLS rocket ready by next year, or it's unlikely astronauts will step on the moon by 2024. On the Space Coast, I'm James Sparvero, getting results news 6.